guys so look man over the last couple cooks when it was time to clean my pit boss ultimate griddle i kind of did it you know a little uh a little half-assed it happens and when people started leaving comments that they see dark spots on the griddle blah 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 that's not good blah 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 i knew it was time to do this video so that is what today's video is going to be all about how to deep clean the pit boss ultimate griddle all right guys look man just give me about two three minutes i got some important show notes for you guys especially for my patreon members and also youtube join members and look man if you are not part of that crew and you're looking to support this show just a little bit extra i got information on both of that down below in the description check it out otherwise let me just get this out of the way and we will get to deep cleaning the pit boss ultimate griddle oh yeah Coming to the Gallery Backyard Barbecue every Sunday a.m. at 10 a.m. or 11 a.m. It is going to be called Sunday Burgers. I'll be releasing a new burger video every Sunday. You're definitely going to want to tune in for that. I will be live March 9th, Wednesday, as I will give away another one of these thermometers, these X10 thermometers. Now look, this is for my YouTube joint and Patreon members only, but all are welcomed on the live, as we will also talk up some BBQ for a little while. Oh yeah. And that is it. And now let's get this uh, deep cleaning video underway. So on the screen is what you'll need, some baking soda, rag, some oil, and a few sponges, that is it. Just to be clear, I have lack of days to clean in this griddle top just so I can make this video here. That will not happen in the future as these things are too easy to keep clean. Guys, first up is you gotta have one of these lasers because you gotta know what your surface temp is is you're gonna use a griddle. Purchase information in the show note down below if you don't have one. 250, you wanna get that griddle top a little bit warm and sprinkle some baking soda down. At that point, you're gonna hit it with some uh, some water. And look, pro tip here, after you hit it with a water, let it sit for about 10 minutes or so. Remember, you are working with a, a warm surface, so I do have some protective gloves on. And basically, just a swirling motion. You know where most of that gunk is, is usually in the center. So just kind of, uh, let it paste up, swirl it around, and get some elbow grease happening. And poor old Molly thinks I'm getting ready to throw some uh, smash burgers on the uh, on the griddle. Yeah. There she goes. Guys, pro tip here, just let it sit for about another 10 minutes. At that point, what you want to do is get some water down. And start scrubbing. Oh, yeah. So look, this is a uh, little bit of a pit. I mean, it is not bad, but there is no reason to let your griddle get to this point where you have to do this. Maybe once every six months. I mean, who knows? But really, man, these things are too easy to keep clean. So look, if you don't have one of these uh, scrapers, again, man, it is all down below in the show notes. Pick one up straight from Amazon. So basically what you're going to do here is start working all that bacon soda and gunk down into the grease trap. Oh, yeah. oh, 
proper tools are everything. So basically, look, just a heads up, what is gonna happen here is that uh, that baking soda leaves that white kind of film down, so it is just gonna take plenty of water. It looks a lot more messier than it is, because that is a uh, just a light film of white on the, uh, on the griddle. That wipes off one, two, three. So basically, just keep hitting it with water. You can heat the grill up and cool the grill down and so forth some water and get ready because you are going to re-season it out with some oil yeah here we go there you go oh, yeah. Like I said, man, it is just a, uh, it's a process, man. It is a process, but it is not that bad. At that point, once you are satisfied with the uh, surface, you'll get some oil down and just kind of work that into the top. And again, I will go hot cold on the top at the end. I'll turn the, uh, I'll turn the griddle up to low all the way around and get that last coat of oil down. do see a little bit of a spot on the end and a little spot there in the middle that I miss no big deal when I uh, fire up this griddle I will uh, I'll work on getting that off because I do like it uh, as good as I can get it yeah. so guys basically that is it let's do some closing thoughts but if you would hit that subscribe button and ring that bell because you want to get those griddle cooks in all right, guys, man, that is it for this one. I hope that uh, I hope that came off good on uh, on camera. The befores and afters, a little bit of elbow grease to get it back to new, but as you could see, it got back there. My advice: pick up the proper tools to keep the uh, keep the pit clean. I'll have information under show notes straight to Amazon where you can pick up what you need. So man, that is it for this one. Until next time, we will see you soon.